Hello there, guys. It's Christy. Let's have a conversation about manterrupting. It is the case that there are gendered speech practices, and let's just narrow it down to the one that's relevant to this video, interrupting. It's empirically verified, and you can go look up the studies that men interrupt more in a conversation than women will. Men will interrupt men more often, men will interrupt women more often, I'm sure men interrupt children more often, because interruptions is something that men are just more likely to do than women are. Now, is that intrinsic? No, I'm sure it's a socialized phenomenon, and that will change over time, and if we do studies in another 50 years time, we might find there are more interrupting women than there used to be in the past. But, let's just say that we know already that men interrupt more than women. The thing about man interruptions, though, is that men will sometimes, hashtag not all men, interrupt women in order to stop the point that they want to make or to assert dominance in a situation. And interrupting somebody's flow of speech and making them stop and listen to you, which is a, a dominance display, or if you interrupt somebody and they keep talking and you just keep talking as well in order to drown out their point, is also a way to try to establish dominance in a social situation. The video clip that we're about to watch with Pierce Morgan, you'll see him display a lot of these attempts to dominate the situation. In particular, his goals are to discredit Ash Sharkur, to humiliate her, and to embarrass her by claiming that she doesn't know what she's talking about and therefore her points are illegitimate. He does this uh, verbally by continually interrupting her, by not listening to the answers that she's giving, and by uh, sort of putting her in situations, in gotcha situations, where it, he's trying to make her look very bad on purpose. I think this is important to point out as a form of an attack on free speech. And here's the logic. If you're one of these edgelords or proponents of free speech, whose view is that when someone comes to a campus, like a Milo Yiannopoulos or a Richard Spencer, and the audience boos and hisses and tries to interrupt the event, if you think that that is a denial of the free speech of the speaker, then you have to also apply that same logic to interrupting. The point of interrupting is to stop someone from answering a question or expanding on a point or speaking in any way. It's also denial of their free speech if you keep talking over them so that they can't be heard, just the same way a crowd making noise so that a speaker in an auditorium can't be heard. is If you think that that's a denial of free speech, well, then so are interruptions and talking over women in order to silence them. I've spent way too long watching this video. I've seen it so many times. Uh, but I think I've done a, a good analysis that really highlights empirically what manterruption looks like and um, why it is shutting down debate. This is definitely a fair use of this piece of video because I've done a lot of analysis, I've added a lot, and I've transformed it in so many ways. So when you watch it, look out for these things. First is that anytime somebody is interrupted or that kind of thing goes on, you'll see that text in white near the bottom. I've also coded in, in green, Andre Walker's uninterrupted speaking time. I've coded Ash Sharkor's uninterrupted speech in blue. And then my own little snarky bits that I have thrown in as commentary are in like a purpley mauve rose color. So with all of that work poured into the video you're about to watch, let's look at an example of interruptions and how this particular man tried to use verbal techniques in order to dominate a situation and silence a woman. Slave labor camps. We're not worried about them. What we're worried okay. about is the most pro-British. People do protest. Well, no, they don't. They don't. They don't. They don't. They if you show me some footage of a Robert Mugabe protest when he came to London, I'd be hugely so impressed. So as long you as don't we, have it. so so you're not allowed to protest against anyone unless you protest well, against everyone. Let me ask you this, Ash. Why are we having? much bigger protests against Donald Trump, leader of the United States of America, our ally, than were ever planned for Erdogan or for the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia. So lots of the organisers for Stop Trump Coalition have been heavily involved in protests against uh, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia. But where were those and, protests? And hardly Erdogan. anybody turned well, people. I, I, I think the reason why the protests against Trump are so much bigger is precisely because America is supposed to be our greatest ally. Do you think so he's worse of... than Erdogan and the Crown Prince of Saudi in well, terms of human rights abuses, in terms of the way he treats his people? People, for example. What I'm saying is that the purpose of this protest is isn't though? just 
the purpose of this protest isn't just about his own domestic policy platform, which I think is terrible. Right. I think just because that there are more egregious abuses of human rights elsewhere does not... Well, why is your focus of your effort to stop Trump and not... Worst oh, this is what I was explaining, right? Is that when someone is supposed to be our greatest ally, it does mean that we should hold them to greater standards of accountability mm -hmm. because it's not just about I Trump's don't buy that argument. But, 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 hang on, hang on. but what are we stopping? What are we stopping? Hold everybody what, are we stopping? Stand stand what are we stopping? forward? That economic regeneration that Britain will need. He's, and that makes it absolutely mad. Not, you are cutting off your nose to spite your face. He's not been a reliable ally in trade Oh, he's totally reliable on this. He's been to Europe. He's been to Europe to tell them that they are taking the mick by not paying their fair share in terms the NATO which is, which is Look, not what it means. He's not been critical of the United means, Kingdom. Which is not he's what it means to be a reliable ally. Britain. When you're you know, you know of Andre, Andre, sorry to interrupt. You just asked Ash a question and haven't allowed her to answer. Uh, I'm so happy for to do of it. NATO, that is a real risk to that particular no, he will defense not, strategy. He will not open. What I'm saying is that he has not been a consistent or a, or a reliable well, friend nonsense. to the UK. And most of the British people, 67%, in fact, think he's doing a terrible job not. as president. Ash, do, you, do you know how many illegal immigrants Barack Obama deported in eight years? And lots of people I know, both in the States and do, do you here, know the protested. It was a huge amount do of number. Know, and you know, Trump, do you know how many? Would you like to tell me, Piers? No, but I'm asking you. It, I, it was... You know every stat about Trump, but do you know actually how many illegal immigrants Barack Obama deported in his eight years as president. It was a huge... There was a have huge a expansion guess. of immigration, de like, detention have a, have a and guess. removal under have a, Obama. Have a guess. I don't know the number, Piers. Give Would you a, like to tell me? Give me a number. I don't know it. Any number. Piers, I don't know it. One? Ten? Give me a number. I told you it was probably in its, like, thousands. It was thousands. a huge how, expansion. How many, how many thousands do you think? I'm serious. This is a serious question. I know, how but many... she's already said... You, she's asked no, you to I would tell like you the answer. To have, a, have a guess. Why? What's the value of making a reason, stuff up on there's it? A reason I know why... that you're comfortable with well, a... a I'm, well, you go on and on about Trump, but here's my point to you. Relationship to How the truth. How many new immigrants Obama deported in eight years? Because what we do know is that Obama... But we do know is that... Give me, give me I, any I'm number. Not here. I'm not here as a give defender of Obama number. or Clinton or any Democrat. No, there's a reason I'm asking you I'm here as a critic of Trump. There's a reason I'm... I get it. What we do know... And I'm asking you... What we do know is that less than half of unified... Trump, can you give me any number for the number of illegal immigrants that Obama deported? Do you have any idea at all? What we do know is that less than half of the underprivileged have been separated Ash. from their families Ash, at the border, give me any which number. Obama did not do, will be reunited with their families. Do you think it's 10,000, 20,000? What do you think? I, listen, I told you I don't know. What more do you want from me, Do you think me, it's mate? thousands? What do you think? I told you it was a huge expansion. Do you know how I many admitted it is, that though? already, and I said I'm not an Obama supporter. But you have no idea how many it is, do you? It's a, it's a publicly stated figure. It's over three million illegal immigrants. Do you know how many bombs Obama dropped in his last year? It president? was a huge expansion of the drone program. How many and bombs? That's why so you know, many people Ash, do you know how many bombs? Trump coalition do you know how many have bombs? been critical Ash, of Obama's foreign Ash, policy. Simply, but we're here I'm to talk about Trump. Yeah, but you're here to talk about Trump. It's interesting Trump. that you're giving and me I'm a hard you, time than you have I'm asking Trump you why you weren't trying to stop Why were there no protests ever for St. Barack Obama? There were anti-war protests and I was a part of them. I've also been a part of of immigrants' rights movements, both in Europe and in the UK, regardless of who's... You haven't got a Scooby about Obama. You don't know any I of the numbers. I didn't know one... And here's my point. Let's bring you back in uh, on this. Uh, oh, my God. God. Every support. time I come on okay. this show, it just okay. seems to be an opportunity for you to have it a talk rather than let me to ask you happen. simple questions to which no. you haven't got a clue. Do you, do okay. you talk about families. Trump in this incredibly relentless, hostile, negative way. You have to know what Obama did too. Because Obama was it's not the no state that you anti-Trump was saying no he was. President. And you didn't have a clue about any Piers, of those numbers. Piers, there is no And that test. annoys me. It's there like, is no on. test or threshold for what people should be allowed to protest about. You can actually put what Trump does into proper context. And I have put it in context and because I have, I, have, I have been a fierce critic of the detention of families, which Obama expanded, mm -hmm. and I was against that. But, but what Trump did that Obama did not do... When he came to London, he was welcome like a conquering but ...was to use the separation of children as a means to discourage people... But from I agree with you about that. But isn't, yeah. but isn't, isn't this and interesting, who just like yeah. to agitate and enjoy going out on the protest? That's why they're not interested. That's, 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 like that's, that's, why the, that's, why, that's why they're not interested. George W. Bush had a huge protest. Mm. Donald Trump is getting a huge protest. If a Democrat wins the White House next time, whatever he does, does, nobody will give you a well, agree. That, you you agree. Agree. These that people are not on the side of the country in which they reside, and that's why they hate our biggest I, ally. Ash, where will you be marching this in the next two days? 
I'll be marching in Westminster tomorrow alongside thousands of other people who found the policy of border separations mm -hmm. unconscionable, yep. who think that the sight of our elected Prime Minister holding Donald Trump's hand is an utter did embarrassment. Did you find Obama deporting wishing... three million people unconscionable? You yes. You that many found it. Yes, I did. Where and was, that's why... And that's why where I also was your protest and march why, against that and, when he came to the country? And that's why I also protest... if you protest, feel so strongly and about that's why it, I also Ash, protest where was your protest march against Obama? In this country if you found that well. unconscionable too, where was the march? You do not have to go out and march it's you have to march twice, don't you? I would actually encourage you to maybe check out some of the other work that I've done where I've been intensely... Tell you what I do, Ash. I go and check out some basic facts about your hero Obama. He's not my hero. I'm a communist, you idiot. <laughs> you didn't plan Ash, I'd go and check out some basic facts about your hero, Obama. He's not my hero. I'm a communist, you idiot. <laughs> you protest against him, <laughs> did you? Ash? Zero protest against Jesus. Obama. Jesus. You have every right to protest. Thanks, every right Obama. to protest. Just, just to get it in perspective. There were none it's against the Obama. If you're so keen to manning your guests to them. make up for your own incompetence as a journalist. Sorry, sorry. You I... didn't hold Trump adequately to account when you interviewed yes, him. I did. You didn't think that climate I, change actually, was I held important Trump, enough to bring up. I held you Trump very to well to your account on a number team. of issues. It's embarrassing. Well, it may be and embarrassing. And instead, what you've done, instead, what you've you, done, but actually, is actually, your actually, your guest, what I try and do, what I try and do, and you've deflected from the actual argument at hand. What I try and do is be fair about Trump. That's not fair. What you do is be relentless. Be relentlessly anti-Trump and relentlessly pro somebody like Obama. I'm not I'm pro Obama. I've been a critic of Obama. I'm a critic of the Democratic Party because I'm literally a communist. <laughs> <laughs>